So you have the two teams up against each other right now, which is Dr. D.Y. Patel Institute of Technology being represented in red and COEP Technological University Pune being represented in blue coming up against each other. And if we were to talk about these two universities, then Dr. D.Y. Patel Institute of Technology had a rough start early part of the day where they lost against the Government College of Engineering Aurangabad by a margin of almost 80 points and they would be very very thirsty or should we say very hungry for a victory right now to get off to a good start. On the other hand, we have COEP Technological University Pune making their first match of the day over here. Two teams coming up against each other all set and with that the match has also started and the blue team which is represented by COEP Technological University Pune trying to make big strides over there carrying a majority of the chunk of the planters or the seedlings in inside the robot and then putting them in the right spot while the strategy very clearly being used by the red team is to make efforts to put planters by using a combination of two planters every time and we have seen that the first attempt by the red team failed or was unsuccessful because the seedlings fell off while now they're making the second attempt to place two more seedlings and in the process what we witnessed is that the blue team has been able to collectively collect all the sliders or should we say planters at one go in two lots the Robot has carried all those planters and started putting them in the right spot, a strategy that is not just efficient but also very, very good when it comes to saving time and carrying on. So credit should be given to the blue team strategy and also at the same time the functioning of their robot which is so efficient and so smooth that is being carried out. And on the other hand, the red team quite clearly struggling, going slow also in their strategy, but it's not paying them the benefits that they would be wanting to salvage or get out of this particular match. One minute, 22 seconds remaining in the match. And while the blue team's robot has moved on into the second zone and started attempting to throw the balls now, we see the red team is still in the first zone out there planting those planters. Quite clearly, the blue team, which is represented over here by the COEP Technological University, Pune has made big strides and they're collecting those big pointers out there. And if they are able to amiss those points via the balls also, then they should have a reasonable gap in terms of points that should play out in favor of the blue team, unlike the red team, even if the red team are able to put in those planters in the first zone in entirety. So the blue team right now off to a good confidence start, good pace, good confidence, good execution and definitely a very good build of the robot which is functioning so smoothly and accurately that is needed in such precision games. Another 27 seconds or should I say 25 more seconds to go into the game. Red team seem to be lagging behind the blue team. It's just a matter of a few seconds now and we should be able to look at blue team being able to secure a comfortable victory for themselves. But given the fact that the earlier part of the day turned out to be a rough day for them, hence a huge margin victory is something they need if they wish to stay in the contention for the race to the quarterfinals. And that is what we shall be now getting to know because the timer is out there, the whistle has been blown and the referee is going to tell us that what are the points that the blue team has been able to build for themselves at the end of this match. Let's not forget that they would require a lot of points in this particular match if they wish to stay alive in the race for the quarterfinals.